goosebumps a lot when I'm like around a campfire and we're talking about like scary stories. Freaky. Definitely spiders. Creepy. Oh. You got Freaky it? Freaky ceilings and stairs. Uh, sometimes like when my back gets scratched, like scratched the right way, it will be a goosebump. Spiritual music. Okay. Metal forks on a ceramic plate. Okay. Going on a large roller coaster. Probably <laughs> when you're getting goosebumps. Wait, I actually think I learned this in anatomy last year. It's something about um like your veins like contracting to like keep the warm blood. Uh, oh gosh, I've never actually thought of this before, but I'm, I think maybe it's something to do with like your skin cells, because like like if it's like cold or something, they just kind of like. Bump, I guess, something like that. But the blood cells, I don't know. As I understand it, goosebumps are caused when the hair follicles um, basically try to make the hair longer, so it traps more heat, or makes the hair stand up on end, so it traps more heat close to the skin. It, it's all up here in the brain, and the brain does amazing things to our whole body, like stress. And if you're stressed, then you can find tingling, the bumps, goosebumps. Any number of things like that, but it, that's where it originates. In the process of creating goosebumps, the hair follicles underneath the skin are supported by tiny muscles called erector pili. Outside stimuli in our environment, such as being cold, stressed, or scared, sends a signal to the brain to create adrenaline. The adrenaline is then sent to the body through the nervous system. When the adrenaline reaches the erector pili muscle, it makes the muscle contract. This then causes the hair follicle to stand up straight, creating a goosebump. When we are cold, this process is done so our body can trap more heat. When we are stressed or scared, this process is done because of our fight or flight instincts so we can look bigger. This fight or flight response is shown in animals. For instance, when dogs are scared or feel threatened, their hair stands up to make them appear bigger and stronger. The effect is not the same in humans. While we have the same evolutionary trait, it is fairly useless in intimidating anything threatening. I'm gonna feel the way I do